back to the mysteries of life. Here's this week's letter. Dear Tim and Moby, Wherever I go, I sense strange noises in my head. When I drop the phone book, I hear a thump. When people open their mouths, I hear words. Please tell me what's going on. From Katie. <laughs> Good question. You are hearing sound waves. I think I should explain a little bit about how sound works. Sound waves are vibrations in the air around you. When something creates a disturbance in the air, waves travel away from the disturbance, just like ripples on a pond. Sound waves travel real fast, about 1,200 kilometers per hour. That's about 12 times faster than a really big shark. Let's take a close look at your ears to see how you hear sound. Listen carefully. If you had a see-through head, you'd look something like this. Your ear is divided into three parts. The outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The inner ear isn't really this big, but we've drawn it large so you can see it better. The outer ear is the part you can see. It's made of a rubbery substance called cartilage, and its little ridges bounce sound waves into your middle ear. The sound waves travel down the auditory canal and hit your tympanic membrane, or eardrum. The vibrations of sound make your eardrum vibrate, just like a real drum. The ear contains the smallest bones in your body, the hammer, the stirrup, and the anvil. Let's see them in action. The eardrum's vibrations are transferred to the hammer, which begins to move back and forth really fast. The hammer bounces against the anvil, which passes its momentum to the stirrup, creating vibrations in the inner ear. Kind of like Morse code. The inner ear is connected to nerve fibers that carry the signal to your brain. Your brain turns the signals into sound. That's what you hear. Some animals can hear much better than humans. Cats, for example, can hear high-frequency sounds that people can't even begin to detect. Hearing relies on a complex chain of events in your ear, and if parts of the chain don't work, deafness can result. Since deaf people can't hear, they use a language of hand gestures called sign language. Here's my friend Lily to demonstrate. Watch your hands closely. My towel. It's just a pen. Just a pen. Thanks, Lily. Uh, maybe you got something inside there. Inside your um. So that's how hearing works. I thought that's why you. Hey, Moby, what, what are you listening to? I am a goofball. I am a great big fool. Instead of a brain, I have a heavy rock inside my head. When I wake up in the morning, sometimes I just fall right back down because I don't know what. Where did you get this recording? Oh.